this is a, a junkyard here. Lots of iron, scrap metal. And we're actually fencing off the back side of it. This is a three phase job for us because of uh, so much garbage in the way. They're actually doing it in different phases. So right now we're in phase two, which we just uh, set in about 600 feet of, of seven foot high plus barb, top and bottom wire, chain link fence. And what we just did here earlier today, we dagged the holes with the, the bobcat and we'll, we'll dig all our holes three feet deep. All our posts are end up being about two feet, um, two feet higher than the height of the fence. Even though our hole is three feet deep, we float our post end so we don't have to have a three foot, three foot longer post. For instance, seven foot high, 10 foot post. Um, we only need to have a nine foot post and the post actually floats in the concrete as we set it. When we order our material, the concrete itself, we actually order it uh, either a five or six bag mix depending on the job and we actually order it with a slump of around a three and a half inch. That will allow us to float them post down and if it gets stiff enough we just add a little bit of water but uh, right around three and a half inch slump works real good for floating a two and a half inch commercial pipe. A lot of people float, but some you know, a lot of people don't know how to float. They end up uh, putting a post in the ground first, and uh, they level and pour concrete around it. Some people will drive the post, which is another alternative, which is actually a nice alternative in most cases. But uh, when you are using concrete, floating them will allow you to never have a problem cutting posts. You just float them to the right height, and uh, we use a string line so that. Uh, we float them right to the string line that's marked on the fence and there's no cutting a post. All these posts have caps on so you don't have to worry about water getting into them. So whether the concrete's encased in it or not, it doesn't matter. Some people, like I said, they, they'll drive the, put a post in the ground first and put concrete around it and that will allow water to drain also out. But it also, if the concrete ever separates from it, which it shouldn't, but it might, uh, it has a chance of settling and sitting, sinking in the sand below it, depending on the conditions of the ground. Also, by using shorter posts, you can have uh, a savings of one foot sometimes in the height of the or the length of the pipe. So you're saving that foot by floating it, the cost of that material. Seventy poles times about, times about say three or two dollars a post, uh, a foot. It adds up pretty quickly, 150 bucks. We also leave our concrete down about four inches from the surface. And then we throw our dirt on top of that. And the reason why we do that is because in this area we get a lot of frost areas. And if we don't put dirt on top of them, bring concrete to the top, the frost will actually pull it up and heave them. Uh, also when you're digging that hole, the biggest part of that hole is at the top. The, the widest part of the hole is at the top and by putting concrete down deeper and filling up with dirt you avoid that big top of the hole which actually acts as a lever to pull that concrete out uh, with the frost. 